hello friends welcome to our channel so in this video we are going to discuss about what is constructor overloading and how to use constructor overloading in java so in our previous video we have discussed what is polymorphism and what is method overloading how to use method overloading in java in case if you haven't watched that video so the link is available in the description so please watch it let us get into our constructor overloading so already we know overloading is a type of polymorphism nothing but its ability to take more than one form i think but common name but the functionality is different there are two way of achieving overloading one is by using method which we have already discussed in the previous video so now we are going to see about the second way of overloading nothing but constructor overloading so let me define a constructor first so as as we discussed in our previous video constructor name must be the class name and it never return a value and it may come with the argument so i have defined one constructor with integer argument and inside this constructor i am going to perform factorial logic let me define one more constructor again same scenario constructor name must be the class name and it may come with argument so this time i am coming with two argument and here i am going to perform addition and you can look at this code same name since it's a constructor it must be the class name which mean obviously within a single class if there is a multiple constructor so all the constructor with b will be the same name right so finally you can look at the code a same name and argument list is different and functionality is different so nothing but overloading so the overloading is nothing but the name will be the same you can look at the first constructor and second constructor in both case name is same but the first constructor is performing factorial functionality and the second constructor is performing addition nothing but many form right so already we know how to call the constructor so the constructor will get execute automatically when we are creating a object since i have two constructor let me create two object for the first object creation i am passing one integer argument and for the second object creation i am passing two argument and both are integer value as we discussed in our previous video the overloaded method or constructor will identified by using this argument list so finally the compiler will identify the relevant constructor with the help of this argument list different so that's why overloading is nothing but same name 
but the argument list must be different because the compiler will identify this overloaded constructor with the help of this argument list different you can look at my first object creation i am creating object by passing integer value so which means it is going to execute the first constructor and it will perform the factorial and in case of second object creation i am passing two integer argument so which means it is going to execute the second constructor and it will perform the addition so finally in case of overloading the compiler will identify the relevant overloaded constructor with the help of this argument list different let me define one more constructor let it be with string argument and this is just going to display a welcome message you can look at this first and third constructor both are with one argument but the type of argument is different so finally the overloading is based on the argument list different so here argument list different in the sense it can be a number of argument list different or it can be a type of argument list different so now if i want to call third constructor i have to create one more object i'm just creating one more object let it be opj3 so this time since i want to call a constructor with string argument i have to pass a string value while creating out so this is nothing but constructor overloading so let us run and check our output you can look at our output we are getting a output in a expected manner so finally i'm summarizing the point once again within a class i can have multiple constructor since construct name must be the class name which mean all the constructor name will be the same nothing but our overloading concept so the name is same but the argument list will be the different so argument list different in the sense it may be a number of argument or it may be a type of argument how the compiler is identifying the overloaded method sorry uh, overloaded constructor it is with the help of argument list different so first i am creating object by passing integer value it is executing integer argument constructor and it is performing factorial and second i am passing two argument both are integer it is invoking second constructor and it is performing addition and third one is displaying a welcome message so finally this name is same but the functionality is different first one is factorial second one is addition and third one is welcome message so this is your polymorphism or you can say it's a constructor overloading let me create one more object and i'm trying to pass some invalid argument i'm trying to pass one double value as a argument now the compiler is looking for a overloaded constructor with double argument but in in our code we haven't defined any overloaded constructor with double argument so that's why it is giving the error so which mean the compiler is identifying the overloaded constructor 
during the compilation time itself. So that's why I'm getting the compile time error. Since it's identifying the overloaded constructor during compilation time itself, I can say it's a compile time polymorphism or I can say it's a static binding. So hope friends, we are clear about constructor overloading. Now you may get uh, some question in your mind. So why should I go for this overloading? What is the real time scenario for this overloading concept? Yes, already we are familiar. What is method overloading? and constructor overloading so definitely we may get a question so in real time where we will apply this overloading or any real time scenario so what i will do so i will make one more video in the next video so we will discuss this overloading concept with a real time scenario thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends